Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use the upgrade feature of the 2016 soft modding tool Extras Disk. So when you insert the disk, you'll be presented with this menu and you want to scroll down to the advanced features section and press A and then you want to go down to the upgrade older soft mods section. Now, this is used for upgrading soft mods that aren't the 2016 soft mod to the 2016 soft mod. So if you are using an, an old soft mod or a different soft mod and you want to use my soft mod, you can use the extra disc to painlessly do it. It will upgrade it and you'll have all the benefits of my soft mod. So you get the choice, you can yes or no. No will take you back to the menu, yes will proceed with the, the upgrade. So as it says, it will upgrade an, an old non-2016 soft mod to mine or you can use this option also to install a clean version of the 2016 soft mod. So if you are running the 2016 soft mod and you've been changing stuff in NK patcher settings or you've been doing things and you just want to get back to the original version that you installed, you can use this option to do that as well. Now, this will remove your dashboard from the C partition. So if you use C dashboard or C XBMC as your dashboard or C dash as your dashboard, it will be removed. This completely upgrades everything of the soft mod. So we are going to do it. So select yes, it will proceed to copy files to the hard drive and then it will load into the second stage dashboard. Now, with all the options of update, upgrade and factory reset, you always have two choices. You can either finish the upgrade, update or restore, or you can exit and clean up. Now, if you change your mind, you can exit out and you just clean up and it will delete everything and restart your Xbox and you're back to where you were before you inserted the disk. So, we're going to finish the upgrade. Yes, I really want to. The first thing you'll get is this dialogue asking you what region of Splinter Cell do you own? And if you don't own Splinter Cell, then basically the region that your Xbox is from. So, if you're a... a from America, Canada or Japan and you purchased your Xbox in, in that region then it's NTSC. If you're in Europe and you purchased your Xbox in Europe it's PAL. Now another way to check is on the disc on a PAL disc on the left hand side there's a Microsoft logo and there's, to the right of it there's a little white box with PAL. Um, NTSC games, there'll be a little white box somewhere with NTSC inside it. So just look at your game, your original game disc, and it'll tell you what region it is. Um, also, if you had to change your video region to NTSC so that you can use the component cables, then your console's PAL region. The reason being is all NTSC consoles, so Japan, America and Canadian consoles, are already set to NTSC, so they don't have to use that to change the region. So if you had to use Enigma Video Switcher or Video Changer or Enigma X, depending on what it was called when you used it, you're a PAL region. So I'm in the UK, I had to use Enigma Video Changer, I select PAL. I'll then proceed to update the soft mod saves. It installs all the soft mod saves, so you get Mega Salt 007, and whatever splinter cell region you selected. So in my case, PAL, it'll install the PAL save. And it also installs NK patcher settings and upgrades your soft mod files to my soft mod files. When the procedure is done, the DVD tray will eject. It'll ask you to remove the disc, as you've seen. So the DVD drive just ejected. I take the disc out. I press the A button, it will then ask you, or it will then tell you that I'm going to back up the EEPROM. I back that up to E backups EEPROM folder. Now, please back this up. It's important because if your Xbox hard drive dies or breaks or fails in any way, you will need the EEPROM.bin to create a new hard drive so that you can lock it to the motherboard in your Xbox. If you don't back up the EEPROM, and the hard drive dies, it's a pain in the backside. You're going to have to either make an EEPROM reader or buy one. So please just back it up, copy it to your PC when the procedure's done, 
and stick it on Dropbox, Google Drive or zip it up, email it to yourself and keep it in a backup email somewhere so that you've always got it. It's not very big, it's a, it's a couple of bytes, <laughs> well a couple of kilobytes sorry. Um, so you press A button again, the DVD drive will close, the Xbox will restart, or do a soft restart, the LED will turn orange and then it will flash green a couple of times. It will then power on off, so it does a hard reset. And that's the procedure done. So now it will load into the Unleash X dashboard with my uh, soft mod skin. And that's it done. So you'll now have a new application under your applications menu called NK Patcher Settings. I'll go into that in another video, but that NK Patcher Settings is used to change settings of NK Patcher. NK Patcher is the second stage of the soft mod. That's the thing that gives you all the fancy features like da loading dashboards, virtual drives, the protection that you need with a soft mod, all the good features of a soft mod are produced by NK Patcher. So I'll explain that in another video. So anyway, that's how you upgrade from any soft mod to the 2016 soft mod using the 2016 soft modding tool extras disc. Thanks for watching.